before we can load and run the project, we need to first transfer the security certificate files we first download from the connection wizard, and also set a few MQTT parameters for the router. A root CA certificate will be needed for the SSL connection. This can be downloaded from semantic.com. I'll provide this in the file package below. After we log in to Combivis Connect, I'll create a folder called Certificates, copy the file ending in cert.pem and private.key, and then transfer them to the router using Combivis Connect. Remember this file path for later as we will need it in our configuration file. Finally, we will need to edit the MQTT configuration file. This file will be used by the router and defines all the MQTT parameters needed to push data to the AWS cloud. This can be found in the Resources folder of the Combivis Studio HMI project. Remember, the correct configuration of this file is critical for the connection to the AWS cloud. It's important to review these settings carefully before you save the project. At this point, you can pause the video, make sure you know the thing name, its endpoint, the topic name that we previously set as raw, and the paths that you defined for the security certificate files. After filling this out, select Save and close the file. The final step is to load the project to the C6 router and run it. To do this, right-click on the project title and select Upload Project to Device. Enter the IP address of the router and the desired path for the project and select Upload. After the upload is complete, select Start Device Project. Once the project fully boots up, the router will attempt to connect to the AWS cloud and begin to push data. First, look at the project dashboard and verify that the data is collecting. It looks like it is, so at this point, I'll open up my AWS console again and navigate to the DynamoDB service you will refresh the page and you will see live data getting published to the database. If you do have errors, I would suggest going to the CloudWatch logs so you can see exactly what's going on. We can open up CloudWatch from here and I'll look at the latest logs that we have available. This log shows that the Lambda function completed in just under one second successfully with no errors. From here, Data can be abstracted and analyzed using other AWS services. For more information on KEB's C6 router and CombiVis Connect, see the links in the description below.